lead on. He saved me and washed me in his blood. Hallelujah. What the Lord has done for me. Hey, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. He saved me and washed me in his blood. Amen. So I can shout hallelujah. Is there somebody here today who can say that with me? I can shout hallelujah. I can shout praise the Lord. So I can shout hallelujah. I can shout hallelujah. I can shout. Praise the Lord. I see what the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all what my God has done for me. I cannot tell it all what the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. He saved me and washed me in his blood. Amen. So I can shout hallelujah. I can shout hallelujah. I can shout praise the Lord. Yeah, so I can shout hallelujah. I can shout hallelujah. I can shout, praise the Lord, amen, amen, hallelujah, oh yeah, thank you so much God for joining me today, we are live, we are live, we are live, my God, I first have to apologize, a couple of people sent me messages yesterday, I was supposed to be live but i had to be somewhere and i couldn't come on live i was ministering at a program and um i couldn't come on live but today what god has in store nothing will stop it amen amen just give me a minute we're gonna start soon i'm taking my time to um share this because if not, some people will come and fight me. <laughs> Pastor, you were live and I did not know. I'm just not going to be able to share to everybody, but I will try as much as I can to share to as many as I can share. Amen. Oh my God. Oh uh, amen Oh, Jesus, Jesus, thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, for thou art created all things that for thy pleasure they are. And were created, thou art worthy, thou art worthy, O Lord, and to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou art created, all things that for thy pleasure. They are and were created. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord Jesus, to receive glory, honor, and power. <laughs> For thou art created. All things and for thy pleasure, 
they are and were created there is none holy as the lord there is none beside thee neither is there any rock As my God, there is none above. You're bigger than what people say. You are greater than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you are good. I say you are kind. You are bigger than what people say oh my lord you are good i say you are kind you are bigger than what people say amen amen father we thank you for today we thank you for another time in your presence thank you for another time to come into your into your presence and experience your glory thank you for another time to fellowship with you thank you for another time to bask in your word and be empowered and encouraged thank you for that one word that will carry us throughout this year thank you for your blessings that you have in store for us today thank you for your glory that is made manifest in this gathering thank you oh jehovah for your power at work in us through us and through this platform we give you praise we give you all the glory oh we worship you our god you are worthy to be praised Oh Lord, we give you all the glory. We worship you, our God. Oh, you are worthy to be praised amen 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 thank you so much everyone for joining me today this is day 24 on our 60 days of power and breakthrough my god my god my god today i'm just going to share one testimony amen amen god is faithful we serve a god who answers prayers we serve a god who words are yea and amen over our lives amen thank you oh yeah thank you oh yeah thank you oh yeah for all that are joining me please share this broadcast and bless or you can just copy the link and that's what i did you can just copy the link and post it on a whatsapp group page and let people know that yes we are live I think I need to do that. Yes, we are like, just copy the link and post on a group page. Let someone be blessed today. Let someone be encouraged. Let someone be empowered. Let someone know that God is still the God that has not forgotten you, even in this season. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 May God, my God, my God, my God, my God. I'm so excited. You know, within this week, someone called me and um, I'm sharing this to encourage somebody. I don't know who you are and I don't know what accusation have been labeled against you. I don't know what people have said concerning you. I don't know what has happened. And it seems there is no hope. There is no solution. It's like your case is written off and there is nobody to help. Now, this was a case when you call a hopeless case, like the case of the dry bones in the valley. 
like the case of the dry bones that were very, very dry. Now, this lady called me. I, I, I think I'm familiar with the case because I've been praying along with this family over this case for a few months now. And then it was time for this, for this case to go before the, the judge. And the mother called me and said, Pastor, the court case is tomorrow. And I just said to her, let us pray. And we began to pray. And I heard in my spirit that God released his word. And the word was clear. It said, this case will end in praise for you as you go tomorrow. Because God has set confusion in the camp of the enemy. And not only that, that God will do a thing that will beat the imagination of what even the mother expected or what anybody expected over that case. And it was like, she said, amen. But one thing she's now sent to me later is like, I believe. I gave her some scriptures to go and pray with that night. And I told her I was going to be praying along with her family. And just two days ago on Friday, she sent me a message. The court case was on Thursday. On Friday, she sent me a message. She said, Pastor, God answered that prayer. My son is acquitted and set free and released after how many years? Listen to me. I don't know who you are. You are probably like that woman. This is a real case. This is not a Bible story. This is a real case. And you're probably like that woman. You don't know how this year is going to end. Your case has been judged and concluded. You're probably in the prison of your emotions. You're probably in the prison that life has put you. You're probably in the prison of circumstances. And you are helpless. You don't even know how you're going to come out of it. God God is saying to someone today, I sent my word and I break all the chains. I am the Lord, your deliverer. That's what God is saying to somebody today. I don't know who you are, but I know we serve a God that still delivers. We serve a God that still breaks yokes. We serve a God that still set captives free. We serve a God that is still turning dry bone situation into an exceeding great army. And that's where we're going to start today. Our anchor scripture for this season, the spirit and the word, that is the theme for our prayers this season, the spirit and the word. Our anchor scripture is from the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, where we saw how God sent his word over chaos, over formlessness, over void. And what happened as God said, everything. Everything God said concerning the earth came to be. And the last one week from Monday, if you have missed the prayers from Monday, we began to pray from the book of Ezekiel 37. Please, if you missed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday prayer, kindly, kindly go back. They are all on my page. They are also on our YouTube page. Or if you want me to send you the link, let me know. I will send you the link. We serve a God that is still doing miracles. We serve a God that is still answering by fire. We serve a God that is still confounding your enemies. We serve a God that is still answering when all else is silence. And this is a simple case. The case was such that nobody believed that child would be set free. Nobody believed. But God did it. Hallelujah. God did it. Hey, God did it. God did it. God did it. God did it. I'm so excited. I tell you, each time I sit here to pray, either I'm doing a short video or I'm doing the live, I always ask God, let that word for one person come. Even if this is the only testimony I have on the 60 days, I tell you, I feel so blessed and lifted in the name of Jesus. I feel so blessed and lifted. But I know many miracles. I, I can share more, but I have to take permission from the people because some of the testimonies are personal. But I have to take permission from these ones before I can share them. Today, we will continue on our prayers from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37. And yesterday, we looked at something very, very important. 
how Ezekiel prophesied over dry bones. And the Bible makes me understand that these dry bones, not only did the bones come together, the sinews came together, and then what happened? Flesh grew. And Ezekiel looked at this complete body, but there was no life. And two days ago, we prayed against incomplete projects in our life. We began to say, Father, you are the God who completes everything you do. Any incomplete project in our life, either in our marital destiny, either in a financial area, either in, in, in our job, either in anything God has put in our hands that concerns our life and destiny, that seems to be incomplete, we began to pray, Father, release the spirit of perfection upon every incomplete project in my life. Release the spirit of perfection. Is it in marriage? Release the spirit of perfection. Is it in relationship? Release the spirit of perfection. Is it the, in, in my job, in my finances? Release the spirit of perfection. Because when God releases his spirit, there is a power that comes with God's spirit over a situation. And that power begins to cause things to fall into place and happen according to God's will, plan, and purpose. And that is what we saw in the book of Ezekiel 37 from verse in verse 9. God said to Ezekiel, well, come on, call on the winds. These are creations of my hands. Call on the winds. Let them breathe. Let them release upon these bodies. And these bodies shall live. And then yesterday we saw how these dead bones received life and became a mighty, the Bible calls them exceeding great army, exceeding great army. And yesterday we began to pray for ourselves. Every area my life has been dormant. These dry bones in the valley were useless. Dry bones in the, in the valley had no value. They were, you know, there's so many people gifted with so many blessings there's greatness inside every man created by god but circumstances have rele relegated us to the place where we now look like dead bones in the valley there are so many great people but because of situation of life because of problems of life because of family foundation because of issues of life we have been condemned to be in a place like dead bones in the valley but the bible makes me understand that these dead bones had the quality they had the capacity to become great exceeding army but all they needed was the breath to come upon them all they needed was life to be released on them all they needed was the the, 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 the ruach of god to come upon them so many of us are like those dead bones we are like those dead bones in the valley men trample on us men look down on us men spit on us hey yeah 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 but today i prophesy over you ito lata ni masebo igaturia ikadalaba as i release the work of god upon you let the greatness in you begin to comfort let it begin to arise let it begin to comfort let it begin to arise in the name of jesus these dead bones. Hinanama, Yezote. God asked Ezekiel. He said, "Can these ones have life?" Ezekiel, like you and I, we will say, "No, we don't know." Can this situation be turned around? We say, "We don't know." We have been disappointed by men over and over and over again even when people look at you and say do you think you deserve a good marriage because you circumvent yourself you say you know what i don't know because life has treated you like the dead bones like you have no value because people have treated you like you are useless hello to me my sister brother there is greatness in you. 
there is greatness inside of you there is greatness inside of you and that greatness is coming forth today because as i speak to you i'm speaking to myself as i speak to your circumstances as i speak to your situation i'm calling for the work of god to breathe over you to breathe over that situation to breathe over that circumstances to breathe over that issue and bring out the best of god in you and release the fullness of God in you in the season. Let me say, yesterday we prayed from this and I'm going to start from there. Why did God even create you? Because that's the important thing we need to first ask ourselves. Why was I created? Was I created to be trampled upon like dead bones in the valley? Do you know there's so many people who live through life and life never happens to them and they never happen to life. Life never happened to them, they never happen to life. They just go through the motions. They just go through the motions. They just go through the motions. Hey, sister, there is a purpose for you being on earth. There is a purpose for you being created. There is a purpose. The book of Genesis, the book of Genesis chapter 1, God made me understand. And I'm speaking that into you. God said to you, hey, and you're supposed to welcome my brother. He said, and God said, let us make man. Genesis 1, 26. He said, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion. The first purpose for your creation was for you to have dominion. You were not created to be useless as dead bones in the valley. You were created to have dominion. That's the number one purpose. For you being on earth today. See, you were created to have dominion. The number one assignment as God ambassador. Do you know when you... <laughs> let me explain something. One thing we don't understand. As God's image, we are ambassadors. We carry the fullness of God even while living here on earth. The enemy will make you feel that like, look, 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 look. Because you fell yesterday. Because you made a mistake yesterday. Because you did something wrong yesterday. You, you, you have lost who you are. Listen, man. Listen, sister. Listen, brother. You are God's ambassador in Christ right here on earth. And the number one assignment for you is to live in dominion. The Bible says God created you to have dominion and to have dominion over all things he has made. All things. All things. All things. Not some things. All things. Not a few. All things. Not a, a many. All things. Now what is that thing that is dominating you? What is that thing? Many of those dry bones. We are human beings who never probably fulfill their destiny. Many of those dry bones. We are human beings who never even found a light for themselves while living. Those things, those dry bones, they were people like you and I who probably went through the world just going through the motions. But God had not finished with them. God had not finished with them. My big sister, he welcome. God had not finished with them. Listen to me. I don't know who I'm speaking to. God had not finished with you. Life may have beaten you down. Circumstances may have beaten you down. Sickness may have beaten you down. Problems may have beaten you down. Marital issues may have beaten you down. But that is not the end of you. There is dominion walking inside of you there is a power there is a power inside of you waiting for a time to become an exceeding great army verse 28 of genesis chapter 1 the bible says and god blessed them what did god do there god 
God gave them authority. What does that blessing do? You know, when when a king, when a king raises up his staff and places his staff, what the king is doing is transferring authority, is blessing that person to say, go ahead. You are now me. Wherever you go, you become me. You know, when, when, when the when England, during the period of colonization, when British colonies, when the British army go to a place to conquer the place, what did they do? They put the flag there. Though that is not England, because that flag is there, it represents the authority of the Queen of England. The queen may not live in that land, but as long as the flag of the queen is hosted on that land, the authority of that king, queen, covers that land. And that is what God is saying to you. My child, I have created you to dominate. I have created you to rule over all that I have. I have created you to subdue all that I have. Now listen to me. How many of us are dominating? How many of us are living? Because God's flag, his banner, the Bible says when Jesus is raised up, that means he's always raised up. He's always standing over. He's always this shining in the clouds but are we taking authority as the child of the king who rules in heaven and makes the earth his footstool or we are allowing earth to dominate us because that is what happened in the lives of these dead bones in that state they were useless they were nothing they were good for nothing they were not useful for anything. I, I pray for somebody and I decree over you. Every area of life where men have termed you useless, from today, I call for the greatness of you in that area to come forth today. In the name of Jesus, I say come forth. Comfort, I call the lion in you to rise up. I call the greatness in you like a lion to begin to roar, to begin to roar, to begin to roar in the name of Jesus. Nothing is permitted to dominate you, child of God. Nothing is permitted to rule over you, child of God. The Bible says, God bless them. And said to them, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion. Can you see that emphasis? Subdue and have dominion. Subdue and have dominion. This is what God is saying. Hey, yeah, yeah, I hear my spirit. God is giving somebody a second chance. I don't know who you are. I hear my spirit second chance, second chance, second chance. God is giving you second chance. In that area where you have failed, in that area where you have fallen, in that area where you have lost it all, God is giving you a second chance. Receive it. I see God giving you a second chance. Receive it today. Receive it today. Receive it today. Receive it today. Thank you, Jesus. I receive it. I receive it, Lord. I receive it. I receive it. The scripture says to me, my father said to Ezekiel, prophesy, speak the word. Speak the word. There is something about you speaking the word. The authority of God's word is made manifest in his speaking. The authority. Have you seen a king that will come out to give a decree? Would that be doing? Mm, 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 mm. No! A king speaks. And when the word goes forth, it becomes authority. Child of God, 
Ezekiel, God said to him, speak. And just by Ezekiel speaking, life came to dry bones situation. Life was restored. And the dry bones that were useless, the dry bones that were good for nothing, I hear my spirit. That situation you're about to give up hope on. Don't give up, please. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Please don't give up. I hear my spirit. Don't give up. Speak into that situation because there's still life in it. Don't give up. There's still life in that situation. Open your mouth right now. I don't know who you are. Stop whatever you are doing. Begin to speak to that circumstance. Begin to speak to that situation don't give up don't give up don't give up i hear god says i am not done with that situation don't give up 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 god is Stepping into that situation. It says, don't give up because I am making a way. Oh, Lord, I am making a way. Thank you, Jesus. I am making a way. 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 And let it have a super legate. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God says, Ezekiel, this may be dead bones, but I am not done with them. I still have plans for them. There is still greatness inside of them. I still want to make this ones a wonder. I want to make them a wonder because by the time I'm done with this dry bones, <laughs> They will become an exceeding great army that will make people to wonder. Hey, somebody's not hearing that. God says <laughs> that situation, I am turning it around, and it will become what? A miracle that people will come to testify with you. I am making it a miracle that when you tell people what the lord has done hey hey your case will be like what the lord has done for me i cannot tell it all what the lord has done for me i cannot tell it all what the lord has done for me i cannot tell it all he served me and turned around my life yeah, so i can shout hallelujah i can shout hallelujah i can shout praise the lord ah that will be your testimony that will be your testimony i decree today that will be your testimony before this year comes to an end somebody will testify that what god has done they cannot tell it all but all they can do is to shout hallelujah your case will be like the case of the dry bones that became an exceeding great army to the glory of god hey I'm excited for somebody. I'm excited for somebody. Thank you, my sister Sandra from England. Thank you for joining me today. My God, you should be sleeping. You're up at this time. Thank you, sister. That will be your case. Because like the dry bones, they were forgotten. They were useless. They were good for nothing. But when the Ruach of God came, when God stepped into that valley, when God came in his mighty power, when God came in his fullness, dry bones became an exceeding great army. What is that case that God cannot turn around? 
What is that situation that God cannot turn around? What is that problem that God cannot solve? What is that worry that God cannot take away? What is that burden that God cannot carry? What is that yoke that God cannot lift? What is that chain that God cannot break? There is no impossibility with God. You look at the remaining part of the year. The dreams are so far-fetched. Oh my God, January to October, nothing happened. November is coming to an end. It seems nothing is happening. God says, I should tell you, a thousand years is like a day. I am the God of the 11th hour. That is for somebody. God says, I should tell you, I am the God of the 11th hour. Man may forget. I don't forget. Man may forget. I don't forget. Man may fail. I never fail. Man may be helpless. I am not helpless. The scripture says, So Ezekiel prophesied. Ezekiel 37 verse 10. So Ezekiel prophesied as God commanded. And the bread came upon them. And they lived. And they stood up on their feet. An exceeding great army. Then God said to Ezekiel, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. These bones is Emmanuel Ufoma. These bones is Sandra Apilo. These bones is Esther. These bones is Rosemary. These bones is Titi. These bones is Joseph. These bones is Tom. This bond is anyone that you can think of that is going through a circumstance. The Bible says, God said to <laughs> Ezekiel, Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off from one another. We are cut off in parts. We are disgraced. We have been disappointed. We have no shame. We have no stagnation. We have no failure. We have no hopelessness. We have no poverty. We have no disgrace. These bombs are like you and I. That everything they tried, none worked out. None seem to fall in. None seem to make sense. But listen to what God said. In verse 12. Therefore, listen. Therefore, therefore prophesy and say unto my people. Thus saith the Lord God. Behold all my people. Behold all Ufoma. Behold, all oh Esther. Behold, all oh Sandra. Behold, all oh Promise. Behold, all oh Esther. Behold, all oh Margaret. Behold, all oh Cletus. Behold, my people. Don't say the Lord God. Behold, all oh my people. I will open your graves, Matter and cause you to come out out of your grave. Hey, I will open what has covered you. I will, I will open what has limited you. I will open that grave that has caged you. I will open that cage that has limited your progress. I will open that cage that has stopped you from prospering. I will open that grave. That has stopped you from enjoying marital blessing. I will open that grave that has stopped you from growing spiritually. I will open that grave that has stopped you from enjoying financial blessings and wealth. And what did he do? He said, and bring you into the land. And bring you into a land. A prepared land. Remember what he promised the Israelite. A land flowing with milk and honey. A land where you walk and you lack nothing. A land that is prepared with harvest every day. A land that is prepared with abundance in all ramification of life. God says there is a grave that the enemy has put you. That grave blocks the favor of God. 
every time favor wants to come that grave blocks the favor people that want to bless you they can't even see you because there is a covering today god says i am bringing you out of that grave because i am opening that grave i am breaking that grave i am cutting you loose from that grave because it's your time to enter into the promises i have for you mighty woman of god my sister michelle mckenzie welcome woman of god prophetess michelle god bless you god says say to my people say to my people ezekiel 37 verse 12 oh my people oh michelle oh Ufoma, oh rosemary i will open that grave I will break that grave. I will scatter that grave. It doesn't matter how long they put you there. It doesn't matter how long that grave kept you. I am breaking it today. I am breaking it today because it's time for you to enter into my promise. It's time for you to begin to enjoy the fullness, uh, the blessings, uh, the dominion I created inside of you. It's time for you to begin to rule as the exceeding great army that you are. Have you seen an army that is prepared for war and yet they are not in prison? Meanwhile, the battle is going on. How useful would they be? They are useless. God is saying to you today, there is a grave that the enemy has used to stop God's people. There is a covering that the enemy has used to limit God's people. Mata Libra Sede, I come in the fullness of God's word today and I stand as a servant of the Lord and I decree over you, I decree over your family, every grave, every grave that has covered your family, every grave that has covered you in any area of your life, today I break it loose. I break that grave and today I decree you are coming out in the name of Jesus. I bring you out of that grave. I lift you out of that grave. I lift you out of that grave. Come out! You don't belong there. You don't belong in the grave. That is not where you belong. You are not meant to stay in that grave. When God sends forth his word, hey, the power, the power of performance is released. God says, listen, why will God do this? Why is God so interested that you are not limited? Why is God is so interested that you don't remain like as useless as the dry bones? Why is God so interested in making you the great person that he had created you to be? This year is coming to an end. Why is God so interested that you enter into the land? Before this year comes to an end, in verse 13, he said that ye shall know that I am the Lord. I am the Lord. When I have opened your grave, all my people, and brought you out of your grave. Why will God do this? Listen, I always say this. When the enemy comes, the enemy is not just coming after you. The enemy is coming after the glory of God that covers you. When the enemy brings problems to you, it is not the problem the enemy is bringing. The enemy is bringing problems to contend with God's power in your life. When the enemy comes at you, the enemy is not just coming for you. He's coming to test God's glory, to contend with God's praise over your life. And that is why God says in this word, I am doing this because of who I am over you. Hey! Somebody did not get that. God says uh, in this season, I'm breaking the grave and I'm bringing you out all because I am your God. Not because of what you have done, not because of what you will do, but because 
I am your God. Because I am your God. Because I am your God. This is who I have created you to be. A mighty man who dominates. A mighty man who rules. A mighty man that has power over circumstances and issues. Said so those situations that the enemy have used before now. He said after today, as I'm stepping in as your God, it ends today. It ends today. It ends today. Come on, somebody. Say it ends today. That grave, that grave, that grave. Where is it? It ends today. It ends today. Shout it wherever you are. Shout it out. Every grave that has covered me expires today. There is an expiring day too. The, see, God, God, God gives the grave expiring dates. That grave that has covered you today, November 24, 2024, is the expiring date of that grave that has covered your favor, that has covered your greatness, that has covered your blessing, that has covered you in any way. It ends today in the name of Jesus. You walk and walk and walk. You walk and walk and walk. The more, harder you walk, the more you don't see what you are walking for. As you gather, something will happen. It will scatter. As you gather, something will happen. It will scatter. It ends today in the name of Jesus. My labor sacred. Listen, how will it end? How will it end? Today, God says, I shall put my spirit in you and I shall put my spirit in you. I am not just sending the word of deliverance. I am not just sending the word to break the yokes. I am not just sending the word to break the grave. I am not just bringing out the grave. I am releasing my ruach into you. I am releasing my zoe into you. I am making you that one that lives with eternal life. I am giving you my spirit that nothing can stand against. That nothing can fight against. Who can fight to the spirit of God? Who can stand against the spirit of God? God said, I am putting that spirit. I am never shed the label. That same spirit that hovered in creation and brought order in a place of void. That same spirit that through guides God's words through the power of the spirit. Everything God says come to pass. God says, I'm putting that spirit into you. And ye shall live. Listen, ye shall live. In that area you were that dead before. You say you're not dying again. No, I'm not that appreciated. Ye shall live. That person that has a terminal disease, that person that has a terminal condition, go hear God's word today. The spirit of the Lord is being released into you right now. Mandalia Kotolebo. I don't know who you are. There's someone connected to you. And the doctor's report ain't looking good. I speak by the spirit of the Lord God Almighty. And I command that sickness. I command that sickness to dry up from his root right now. Dry up from the root right now. In the name of Jesus. I release the spirit of almighty God, the Zoe, the life, that same light that was in Christ, that same light that raised Christ from the dead. I release it into your body right now. I release into you. If death could not keep Jesus in the grave, sickness cannot keep you. Today, I command you out of that grave of sickness. Out of that grave of sickness. Out of that grave of sickness. In the name of Jesus, it is done. It is done. It is done. Listen, my God, 
I want to round up. I'm trying to round up. I'm trying to round up so much, so much, so much. He said, God says, I shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I shall place you in your own land, in your own place of glory, in your own place of wealth, in your own place of fulfillment. As this year comes to an end, I want to prophesy over you again. There will be no carryover of God's blessings in your life in the name of Jesus. I said there will be no carryover of God's blessings in your life again in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. No man can fight against the wind. The wind of God is inside of you. I like that. No man can fight against the wind. God says, ye shall live and I shall place you in your own land. Then ye shall know that I am the Lord and I have spoken it. I have not just spoken it. He said, I have spoken it and performed it, seer the Lord. I have spoken it and I have performed it, seer the Lord. I have spoken Spoken it and I have performed it. I need you to cut there's so much about spirit. I need you to picture your own child. You promise your child, I will give you candy if you do the dishes. There is a condition to it. And when the child does the, the dishes, you are bound to do what? To honor your word and perform what you had said. Now, God is saying here, he said, I am doing this all by myself because I am your Lord. There is no condition to this. Jesus, I wish I can just, I don't know how to say this. There is no condition. There is no condition. God is not saying you have to do this to be able to get this from me. God is saying, because you are mine, because I created you as mine, because I have loved you, but with an unconditional love, life may have relegated you. People may have relegated you, but it's time. And that time is now for me me to break that grave and cause you to be all that I created you to be. What could have those dry bones given to God to have made God to come in his fullness? What did they give to God to have made God to come and turn them into an exceeding great army? What did they do? They are just men like you and I. We saw the scripture. God says, oh my people. God is saying to you. God is calling your name. God is saying, I will do this. Know that you will know that I am your God. He said, not only have I sent my word. He said, I will perform it. Not only have I sent my word. I will perform it. See it the lord i will perform it see it the lord i will perform it see it the lord my labor is shaking me and you know what the bible says he said god's word will never return to him void he has he said it he will do it has he said it he will do it by his spirit he performs his word by the power of the spirit he brings his word to pass in every promise he has made concerning your life whatever it is that has hitherto stood against the fulfillment of god's promises to your life my shaking my mama no out of god's word comes back yes my brother no out of god's word comes back void without performing that which god has sent it it is done amen 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 it is done god says and will perform it see it the lord his word never fails 
never fail me yet never fail me yet jesus christ never fail me yet there is one thing i know wherever i go jesus christ never fail me yet hey he never failed me yet he never failed me yet jesus words never failed me yet there is one thing i know in whatever situation jesus words never fail me yet the word of god never failed me yet the word of god never failed me yet i want you to open your mouth and begin to pray for yourself i don't know what is that grave that has covered you today god says i'm breaking it and i'm bringing you out i'm going to be calling situations as i pray but i don't know what your own circumstance is open your mouth today the bible says his words are yea his words are amen god says i have sent my word and my word i will perform it i love the way he said it he said you will know that i am the lord and i have spoken it and i will perform it concerning you what has god spoken as this year comes to an end and you are still asking god when will it come to pass when will this come to pass god's word is saying to you i have spoken it i will perform it open your mouth today and begin to remind god you said you have spoken you will perform it it is now it's happening today it's not happening tomorrow it's not happening next year it's happening now he says i'm breaking the grave the grave that has covered you the grave that has limited my word in your life the grave that has stopped my word from coming to pass the grave that has stopped you from being favored the grave that has stopped you from being blessed today that grave is broken that grave is open the grave is broken and you are coming out 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 no grave is permitted to cover you after today you are entering into a new season a season of favor a season of breakthrough a season of greatness a season of dominion a season of adventure a season of second of the fulfillment of god's words and prophecies concerning your life and destiny There's, I hear spirit. There's someone. There is contention for your destiny. One of you is from the foundation. Then one of you is from words that people have spoken. So there's someone you offended in the past. And they release the word. And that word is working against you. That word is working against you. Then for someone is from the foundation, from the bloodline, your bloodline foundation. Today, God is stepping in. God wants to deliver you. God wants to set you free. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. But I'm calling on that name, Jesus. He can never know the one day in it. Hey, Nina Baba Sion, that of us shake and ever. Oh, hey, hey, that of us sit on my father, my father, my father. Your children 
children have suffered enough. Your children have struggled enough. Your children, they have suffered enough. Today, you have sent your word to deliver them from that grief. Every battle against their destiny from wherever, from whatever. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. That power that tends to contend with your power to save your children today. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. My father, my father, the one that never fails, the one that never loses any battle, arise today. Break every grief. Break every grief. Break every limitation. Break every bondage that holds your people bound. Set your people free today. Every strong man. <laughs> every strong man is not stronger than you, Lord. We call on you, the greatest warrior. The Lord of hosts and rights for your children. Nobody, nobody is permitted to hold your people down from today. Arise in your greatness and destroy every power contending with your children in the name of Jesus. Every man, every woman against the destiny of your children against the fulfillment of your promises in the life of your children everyone under the sound of my voice that have been confined into the wilderness into the valley of the dead bones that they may be termed useless that they may be termed not worthy that they may be termed seen in the eyes of uselessness today hey, father take a walk take a walk into that foundation take a walk oh lord take a walk as you did in your word as you entered into the bones and you made the bones a living great army father take a walk into this people's situation take a walk into your children's situation break every hindrance and bring forth in them bring forth in them let the lioness in them arise let the lion in them begin to arise let the greatness in them begin to arise as you break them free from the chains of the enemy I hear my spirit any man and any woman that has refused to let you go from that grave today they will be covered by that grave before the end of this year hey! every man and every woman under the sound of my voice listen to me any man and any woman that is contending with your destiny and they have refused they have refused to let you go they have refused to set you free by the sound of my voice today I send for the word of the Lord I say let that same grave cover them as God brings you out today let that grave cover them let that grave cover them let that grave cover them before the end of this year let that grave cover them in the name of Jesus God is setting you free 
God is setting you free. Hey, I hear my spirit. Accept the repent. Ah, God of mercy. Accept they repent and turn around. If they don't repent and turn around, they will eat the food they have prepared in that grave. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Come on, sister. Come on, brother. This is your season. This is your season to begin to walk in the fullness of all God has ordained for your life and your destiny. You are created to dominate and to subdue and not otherwise. You have been broken out of that chain that has subdued you. You have been broken out of that grave that of those things that dominate you from today. Do not take yourself back to that grave begin to live in the fullness of who god has created you to be you are a dominator you are a lion you carry that fullness of god inside of you let the lion in you begin to roar in the name of jesus it is done it is done it is done every grave every grave every grave is open and you have come out like the birds you have escaped like the birds you have escaped come on somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah you have been blessed by this word shout hallelujah 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 if you have been blessed by this word come on shout hallelujah thank you so much please share this broadcast share this broadcast share this broadcast and i'm going to be doing something for the first time i have never done this i tell you i have never done this our ministry living and courage ministry i come on page every day this morning when god was telling me to do this i was arguing with god can you imagine rosemary arguing with god <laughs> i was arguing with god i said lord i have never done this and the lord said do it so i'm just going to obey the holy spirit i'll tell you we come up every time and we just share the word and i just pr pray for people and bless people but beyond what we do here we also have a ministry that tends to the less privileged the widows the abused in our society and every year we every season like last time we get, we send food to the children who are going back to school and exercise books and writing materials this year god wants you to partner with us i don't know why god is saying i should do this if you are led to partner i'm just going to put the details um on the page if you are led i know there's there are people here who partner with us um if you are led to partner and give to the widows give to the less privileged give to the people whom god is saying bless in this season this is our details i'm just going to post it here um please um just this is me obeying god i am I, I am finding it difficult to do this but this is just me obeying god <laughs> <laughs> this is me obeying god please if you are led this is not a, a this, you're not compelled to do this we're going to be sending about 20 bags of rice to less privileged in africa in this season last year we gave out and each of those widows not only are we giving them rice we're also giving them money to be able to buy something for their children if you are led if you are led to give to the widows and to the less privileged this season you can please this is our zell details and this is our cash up details just anything you send anything you send i tell you will go to this women and their children and the less privileged i was told yesterday a bag of rice in my country nigeria is now 175,000. That is more than a hundred dollars. How many of this less privilege can afford this? My heart sank. As at the last time I shared, I bought for 85,000 naira, which is like about um, 60 dollars today. 
but now it's more than a hundred dollars. That is crazy. And we can't say because it's expensive, these people shouldn't eat. They still have to eat. They still have to eat. So please, please, if you're led in the spirit, just send this. And when you send it, just send me an inbox to let me know you send this or put it. If you're putting it, just put um sort out care that's the name of the, the the outreach sort out like sort out sort out care for sort out care uh less privilege and widows please just put it there so i know it is for this purpose and we'll be using it for this purpose and again uh come the december 7th we're going to be having our end of year conference excelling realities you're going to see it on my page if you're in the dallas fort worth area i'm inviting you specially to join us hey this does not stop our 60 days prayers every day i still will be coming up with our prayers but i'm just sharing with you what god is doing at the end of this year through the ministry we have our end of year conference coming up december 7th and then also end of this year we'll be giving out food stuff and money to the widows so that they can have something something to eat with their children and just a little token for them to buy something for themselves so whatever god lays in your heart it will go a long way thank you so much thank you for joining me today i have been blessed by these prayers and i know you have been blessed please share this broadcast send it to someone who needs to be blessed Put it on your timeline. Let someone hear this prayer and the bless. Because sometimes the reason why the enemy is dominating us, the reason why some of us are just okay to remain as dead, dry bones in the valley is because we don't know what God has deposited inside of us. If we know, then we'll continue to roar like the lion we are and will never allow anything to dominate us. So send this as a gift to somebody and help me share it and let it bless someone. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I will be live again next week, Saturday. It will be December 1st. So I'm not going to miss it for anything. Yeah, I will not miss it for anything. Next week, Saturday is, is um, 31st. So if I'm not on on the 31st, I'll be on on the 1st. I would like to be on on the 1st, Sunday. So we can pray into the month. I'd like to be on on the first. Then, if you want to join me on the, if you want to join me on the on the three days, I always do three days Zoom prayer, uh, three days to the end of the month, every month. I like 28, 29, 30. If you want to join me in the night rise and the night prayer, 11 to 12 midnight. So if you want to join me inbox me i will send you the zoom link it's a short prayer 30 to 45 minutes we're done uh join me but again i'll still be posting the prayers as we go but that is my own personal prayer if you want to join our zoom prayer every end of the month three days uh let me know i will be glad to send you the link so you can join us um what time for the prayer is in, uh, for the last three days of the month is 11 to 12 midnight and to eat, we, we did it together last time but we did it with uh, mash fire nation so join me <laughs> join me join me join me join me join me thank you so much we for posting this thank you so much and to eat thank you so much everyone so 28 29 30 we'll be having our midnight prayer zoom prayer from 11 to 12 midnight that's our time if you're in nigeria you want to join us that will be your 6 a.m you can join us sometimes you may be on the road but it's okay you can join us if you're in africa you want to join i will send you the link that'll be your 6 a.m if you're in england you want to join that'll be your 5 a.m so just let me know because my friends from england are here J let me know i will send you the link it's, it's private prayer it's not public i don't do that public i've been doing it for some months now i think in the month of august i did it with um, mash fire nations but hey if you want to join me join me please it's i tell you god god does miracles through it thank you so much i love you but god loves you more but i want to say this if you're here and you don't have a relationship with jesus that is the beginning point the zoe life in christ can only come to you 
can only be available to you when you have a relationship with Jesus. So if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, I will be glad to lead you to Christ quickly right now. You don't have to tell me anything. Just say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I come to you. I acknowledge that I am a sinner, but today I lay down everything and I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life and help me by your Holy Spirit that I may walk with you and fulfill my destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. If you've said that prayer, inbox me. This is our uh, email, livingencouraged2 at gmail.com. Inbox me. I'll be glad to respond to you and help you on this new journey with Christ. I tell you, it's an experience of a lifetime. You will never regret it. God bless you. I love you all, but remember, God loves you more. Bye for now. I will be seeing you on another video tomorrow as we do on our 60 days of power and breakthrough.